Alrighty, so let's do a little show and tell. <clears throat> so just to get some bearings here. Hopefully you can hear me with the wind. Some dudes right there. So this is Ice Lake down here. You hike to there. You gotta hike up this ridge going up to the uh, the summit right there. Summit of the Matterhorn. That's your bearing. That's a nice stop there. I think that's Aneroid over there. These mountains, I don't know what they are. They're just the ones that surround Ice Lake and form this ridge line that comes in all the way up and connecting back. But then there is uh, this is Eagle Cap right there where my finger is. Mirror Lake is at the base of it. Uh, that's the back country back there. Just there. But, but yeah, the Matterhorn where I'm at right now is definitely my favorite. Yet, uh, oh boy, it's my favorite. It's my favorite color. You know? It uh, it's a very interesting place. Super interesting geology. When you look at it from Eagle Cap, I was there about three weeks ago. Looking back here. <laughs> Matterhorn, which I'm standing on right now, looks like a giant white tooth just sticking up thousands of feet. And I'll show you what I mean by that in just a second. But uh, the coolest, one of the coolest parts about the Matterhorn is just the uh, the rock formations, all this action, this stuff. The rock up here is just weathered in really cool ways. There's all this it's like a sandy beach up here in parts of it, and then there's a bunch of embedded kind of iron-rich rock, which is all these little guys kind of stuck in it. So it's really, really neat. It just weathers in all these really cool ways. I mean, look at, look at that thing. That's the summit over here. Hey, yeah, right there. So let's go do some show and tell. Let's check this out. <coughs> Somebody said there were some aggressive goats up here, so let's just plod along like uh, dubs and see if we can start a fight with some goats and teach those goats a lesson. I am not one of those who abides the, the strictures of getting along I'm just as ornery as they are, if not more so. So, <laughs> yeah, thousands of feet, as I mentioned. This isn't quite showing the uh, perspective, but this is the gap between the summit and some of the northern ridge line. This whole ridge line along the Matterhorn to Sacagawea is just pretty well known. You can find other videos of it. People will record their little travel from that, the Matterhorn to Sacagawea. And there you go. It's one of the drops. It gives you an idea of what we're standing on. <laughs> Ah, I love this place. Yeah, you see how there's kind of like this iron-rich rock just embedded, and then all these whirl, kind of, kind of grainy patterns in the uh, the whitish, light-colored rock. It's just beautiful. It feels like you're on Mars or something. Oh, this is great. Uh, let's get up here. Has tons of traction as long as you're not on the sand, sandy stuff, the slippery stuff. It's uh, you can walk right up it. I love the fact that guy's standing on it, gives you a lot of perspective. Let's get a shot of this dude. I don't know who he is, but he's nice. <coughs> da -da -da -da. <laughs> I 
That is what we are standing on. <clears throat> yeah, 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 let me catch my breath. The obligatory, how far can you lean out shot. No, there's a shelf right here, I'm not that stupid. But uh, that's a couple thousand feet down there to the valley. And again, when you look at this place from uh, the opposite of where I'm facing right now, on a eagle cap, you get to see how this big white tooth thing sticks out. And look, check this out, all this rock, all the embedded stuff, and this kind of weathering and rubbing. A lot of this stuff, when you're walking on it, is hollow holes and stuff. There's car tools and all those goofy formations. It's very cool. Very fun. I give it a 7 stars out of 10 on the, the rating sites. <laughs> if only they would keep up the landscaping up here. You know, people, come on. I mean, come on. There's those guys again. Just beautiful rock. It's cool. I've never done Sacagawea, but I believe this is the ridge line. Of course, just look it up. You know, it's cool videos people have done of that. <clears throat> they made for us so nice see look at this see all this embedding very neat very Record, I do not have a running conflict with goats. all folks i'm super grateful and glad that the weather held i was here last year under the same conditions that we got nailed by thunder and lightning and pouring rain within 45 minutes after it like it looked like it did when i was down at the lake so that's what we should do all right so now we're getting into the cool Kind of weathering of this rock. Look at this. This rock, by the way, it's all sand. <laughs> the obligatory poke. These cool anvil formations. Look at that little bench. A little bench somebody decided to make. How nice, you know? How nice of them. Yeah, 
let's leave that alone. That's enough of that. We'll end it here. I don't want to bother the video. Echo, do you see?